Hey guys, Arnold here. Today I want to talk very quickly about self-awareness and the importance of self-awareness when starting out. So, I'm not an expert at self-awareness, okay? Uh, I'm 34 years old, I'm still learning so many things about myself. And I understand that, you know, that can take a very long time. Some people, you know, are, are, are live a lot more self-aware than others. I mean, if you look at married couples, I can't speak of experience, but some, you know, I've heard that it can take even married couples, you know, once they've married for decades, they are still learning, you know, different things about people. So it does take time. But, you know, generally what I'm trying to say is um, the importance of self-awareness for when you are about to start your business or your entrepreneurial journey. You know, um, I honestly can't say if I, three, four years ago, if I knew it was going to be this hard, I'd be a lie if, if I were to tell you, you know, immediately, I definitely still want to do it. Now, I probably would still want to be an entrepreneur, but um, I think there's many of you because I look at some of my friends who've started businesses and, you know, we have this, because we are natural, you know, eternal optimists and we just think that things are going to work out immediately and there's nothing wrong with it because that's how you should think. But what we tend to forget is that it's a journey and it's a very, very difficult journey. So what I'm trying to say is, are you sure that this is really what you want to do? Because, you know, you can actually save yourself years of pain, frustration, struggle. And again, I'm not trying to talk you out of this, but, you know, I used to tell everyone a few years ago that, you know, everyone I meet who I come into contact with, start your own business, start your own business, start your own business. I don't do that anymore because I now understand that entrepreneurship and, you know, it's not for everyone and that's okay. Okay, because it, like I said, there's a lot of employees who are a hell of a lot more successful and make a hell of a lot more money than entrepreneurs. But what it really is about is, you know, following and pursuing your passion. Now, many of you may think that entrepreneurship is your passion because you like the glitz and the glamour, or maybe you've only seen the bright side of entrepreneurship. You know, you haven't seen the other side of the coin and the other side of the coin is quite dark. Okay, so what, I'm, what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that make sure you know, before you jump into this, um, make sure that it is what you really want to do, okay? Because for many of you, entrepreneurship is not your passion. I mean, even for me, looking back years ago, I was, you know, entrepreneurship for me wasn't about solving problems for people because that's what it essentially is. You know, it's creating products and services that make people's lives easier. Um, I just looked at the money, the nice cars, the nice houses, you know, the holidays and all the wrong things, okay? It's, it's like, how they market, you know, becoming a trader today. They only show you the boats and all the piles of cash. It's a lot of work to become a trader. And a lot of traders never ever get the nice house, the nice boat and all the cash, okay? So entrepreneurship is the same. Not everyone's gonna make it big, but at the end of the day, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, just be sure that if you're gonna jump on the boat or if you're gonna pursue, you know, entrepreneurship, make sure, make sure that it's what you really wanna do, okay? And not because of someone else or because of a misguided perception of what entrepreneurship really is. It's about people and it's about solving problems for people. And it's really one of the toughest, you know, endeavors that you're ever going to undertake in your lifetime. Okay. So make sure that you know who you are, uh, your strengths, your weaknesses. I'm not saying you need to be a complete person to be an entrepreneur because most entrepreneurs are actually the exact opposite. Okay. They may have, many of them are visionaries or they're good marketers or they're good salespeople. But one thing they do have is the leadership skills um, to be able to build and kind of, you know, fill the, where they lack capacity. So for example, I may be a good marketer or a good salesman, but I really suck shit at administration and I can't organize, but I have a partner who's a brilliant administrator, okay? And that's what it's about because I understand that I'll never be good at that because I just hate it, so I'm not gonna invest the time, but it doesn't mean that I don't have to be successful in an area because you know I can be resourceful and I can hire someone or I can get a partner who's good at that and that's what it's about okay so just make sure that you are self-aware that you know who you are and if entrepreneurship really is for you because like I said you can save yourself years of pain and frustration hope this video helped I'd love to hear your thoughts cheers